But with Christmas just around the corner, soon we will stop spending and then, well, the sales will come and maybe we'll start spending again. And then it'll come January and we'll open our bill be like this and our eyes will bulge out. Anita Sharma joins us from our Toronto studios today. She's normally at the TMX covering business, but uh, she's decided to join us in Toronto today in our studio. Anita. Hey, Brian. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, but we wanted to talk to you because I'm hoping you can help us. This is a real issue for a lot of Canadians, isn't it? How much they spend on their credit cards. Absolutely. And you know what, Brian? Uh, folks can get out of control during the Christmas season. Uh, you want to buy a lot of gifts for your loved ones. You want to buy a lot of gifts for yourself. Uh, <laughs> you know, it can get out of control and you talked about the credit bill and I'm glad you brought that up because it's very easy to just keep pulling out the credit and paying for a lot of things a that you don't need and b maybe things that your friends and family don't need either uh, and then come January uh, boom the bill comes it could be even February there's the, it's no secret why February is probably the most depressing month uh, of the year because that's when all the bills pour in and then you start uh, having buyer's remorse right you're like why did I buy that uh, extra plasma TV when I you know so, buying sometimes Uncle I Bob, uh, something I, else. I look at the kids and, and the toys that they get and I think wow you know did they really need that here's no, some they play stats, with it for uh, two seconds here's some stats on uh, on what Canadians do in terms of Christmas spending average Canadian spends nine hundred and ninety four dollars and fifty cents on Christmas includes decorations gifts food parties and everything else Atlantic Canadians spend eleven $1, hundred and 16 Can percent of Canadians will spend more this year than last year. That's according to an Angus Reid study. But the fascinating part, more Canadians worried about gaining weight than spending too much at Christmas. I mean, it's close. Yeah. But more Canadians worried about their weight gain <laughs> than spending too much money. Too much eggnog? I, I'd be worried more about the the, uh, the hangover. And let's call it what it is. It's financial a credit hangover? card financial hangover. So yeah. uh, other than saying don't spend... If you've already spent, uh, what does the business brain tell us to do? Well, you know what? Uh, all year, Brian, we've had our top finance guys, Mark Carney, the governor of the Bank of Canada, alongside uh, the federal finance minister, Jim Flaherty, warning Canadians from coast to coast to coast that you have to rein in your Canadian consumer household debt. It's, it is out of control for the most part. It's at record levels, actually, uh, this year. Uh, look, we have record low interest rates, largely due to the debacle uh, happening south of the border, what with the fiscal cliff. Last year it was the debt ceiling debacle. Next year it's going to be the debt ceiling debacle revisited. Uh, of course, we have the European debt zone uh, crisis to uh, contend with. That's become an annual issue, obviously. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's so much to deal with. But as it stands, because we have all this economic turmoil on a global stage, we have Canadian interest rates at record lows. And that's spurring way too many Canadians to go spend, 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 thinking, ah, I'm only paying, what, 10, 15 bucks in interest per month. I can handle that. Yeah. But we're getting the news now, Brian, that you know what? Even if interest rates go up marginally, it's going to hurt consumers because guess what? Banks are getting a bit more stingier insofar as lending is concerned. So you're not going to always be able to pat, uh, tap into your consumer uh, personal line of credit, if you will. It's going to become tougher over the months and years ahead. Well, I know it's become tougher for people to get mortgages as they change yes. the mortgage rules this year and uh, as the, the economies around the world continue to struggle. I think you're right. I think that they will start saying, oh, you wanted a $50,000 line of credit, a $20,000 line of credit. You can have half so. of what you asked yeah. for. And uh, another point I want to bring up uh, real quick, if I can. You were talking about uh, Canadians and their holiday uh, spending habits. Uh, I also saw a report come out from Monero Solutions, and they pretty much monitor. They're the biggest, largest uh, well, biggest and largest uh, debit and credit card processor yeah. in Canada. And what they found that, you know what, this year compared to last year, pre-holiday spending is up maybe about 2%. But something very interesting is happening, Brian. People are spending more money on fast food. They're spending more on their pets and entertainment, less so on department uh, store purchases as well as uh, bookstores. So it looks like Canadians are just trying to get by. A lot of fast food restaurants are telling me people aren't eating very well. You talked a little bit about the obesity issue one plays into the other but it's certainly troubling times i don't want to be a, a, a grinch uh during the christmas season but really canadians have to be very careful about how they're spending their money and where they're spending their money this cheap money is not going to last forever all right and nina sharma thanks so much for joining us today and uh, merry christmas to merry you christmas and we'll, uh, to you we'll too, chat bye. to you again in the new year i'm looking forward to it